the whole word versus phonics decoding controversy we have discussed the writing system and the classification and definition now we will look at some of the characteristics which are involved in the development of our reading comprehension the whole word proponents advocate that the focus be on meaning with the whole word as its basic unit so we talk about we look at the whole word teaching approach these two are which is the whole word teaching approach as the phonics or decoding teaching method so the controversy lies in the fact that both advocates belonging to whole word teaching approach or the phonics decoding approach they believe that in terms of their emphasis with regard to developing the understanding or the development of reading comprehension skills their emphasis varies now whole word approach believes that the emphasis should be on the meaning elicitation of meaning that for from reading or from comprehension the meaning should be elicited whereas the decoding proponents on the other hand advocate that focus should be on the phonemes understanding of the phonemes that how letters are linked to sound so the learner should know this aspect when he or she or if he or she has to develop the reading skills that breaking down of a word into letters and then connecting those letters to their sounds they believe that this through this approach through this uh, way they learners can have understanding of correct spellings and they can apply this knowledge successfully to the text whereas the whole word proponent they believe that when you are engaged in a process of reading it is more to do with knowing or understanding meaning not the text in terms of small linguistic units so that's the controversy and let's discuss some of the points related to this controversy the first point concerns with phonics or decoding the goal of directly determining meaning from written form is not one shared by phonics or decoding advocates for them reading is conceived of as a process that converts written form of language to speech form and then to meaning they regard the essence of reading to be the ability to decode reading materials into speech once speech is obtained they believe meaning will flow follow thus they propose early and systematic phonic instructions starting with the mastery of a set of letters and sounds that comprise words there are studies which appear to support phonics as a more effective method than the whole language method for example we have mcgonies who compared first graders given a structure phonological reading with those who are giving basically whole language plus phonic method and it was found that children given the phonic method showed significant gains in reading real words compared to children given to whole language plus phonics method the controversy moves on and we see that in the whole word approach the essential task for a reader is to recover the meaning children have the memory capacity for learning to identify many hundreds of words young children can acquire thousands of speech vocabulary items in a relatively short period of time now fluent readers use whole word strategy all fluent english readers eventually learn to identify whole words as they were chinese characters even the proponents of the phonic decoding approach also admit this fact 
To conclude, the focus is on meaning in the whole word proponents. On the other hand, speech is focused according to the phonics and decoding proponents.